Hi there everybody, this is Mary Kirby, also known as Runway Girl. I'm John Ostrauer, also known as Flight Blogger. And we are here in the depths of MBAA because it is late and everyone has cleared out except us. One thing though that you should take away from this uh, entire week is that there is an uptick, an upturn happening in the industry. Absolutely. Seeing NBAA from 2008 when the economy was literally collapsing around the show, 2009 when we were at the bottom, and now 2010, you really get a, a sense of the contrast over those years of where the market is today. And things are really uh, on the upswing, I think. And we're seeing plenty of new programs, but we're also seeing some interesting things happen with used aircraft. I spoke with Next Tent uh, President today, and he was telling me about how they take these Hawker Beechcraft aircraft, refurbish them, and there's a real market now for these type of aircraft. And that means there's a market for those interiors firms and designers that are looking to get in on that retrofit. Exactly. And, and and really, this market right now is about getting the most out of the aircraft you already have. And I think when we get to the next few years, we're going to see all these new models coming in. And really, it's it's straight up from there. It is. Now, another big theme is the fact that everybody is getting fitted with connectivity, John. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Everybody that we talk to has a plan or is talking to or has already locked down a plan for in-flight connectivity for their aircraft. And that's a pretty significant deal, especially for aircraft that are small and mid-sized aircraft that would never have had in-flight broadband in the past, now they're getting it. Well, connectivity, especially when you use it, aviation as a business tool, is just incredibly important. Just right. to you know, always be connected. Absolutely. Well, we had a lot of other kind of interesting, fun experiences and a lot of fun uh, highlights from the show. I had my um, derriere drawn today, John. We're not really sure why that person was here, <laughs> uh, but clearly they were quite enthusiastic about uh, sketching the backsides of, of, of those who were attending the show. You didn't get your butt done? I Not not this time. <laughs> oh, well, maybe next time. Oh. How about you? Did you do anything interesting today? Well, I actually uh, sat in on a social media panel uh, today, oh. and we actually discussed the latest trends in, in social media in the industry. And, and really, it's becoming a necessity for, for, the, for the business community to interact with, with its customers and really with the community of broader community of aviation to interact with itself. I know there's a number of companies actually really pushing that right now. Aircel recently mm. launched a crusade to try and get the business aviation community on Twitter. And they're actually doing a pretty good job of it. There's a lot of other people in the space doing it. Guess where we're headed after this? We are going to the official NBAA tweet up. Yeah, we can't wait. And we're going to meet everybody that's been really embracing social media in the business aviation sector. So what do you think, John? Are you ready to head? I'm ready to head out. We're going to see you next time. I think we'll see you in Paris, actually. Ooh. Paris Air Show 2011. We'll see, see you there. See you then.